Hello, this is Robin Ellsworth with Tridea Partners. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to filter a list page within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. List pages are found throughout AX and are a quick and easy way to view a group of similar records and perform actions against those records. I have the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 client open on my screen. You can access a list page from the common section on the area page within any module. We will look at the All Purchase Orders list page. A list page can be customized by applying and saving filters using the filtering options in the filter pane. Additional filter fields may be displayed above the filter pane depending on the list page. First, let's use the Filter by Field option. This allows you to display only records which have a specific value in the column selected. In the filter pane, select a column from the list. We're going to select Purchase Order. Tape a value to display only records which contain that value in the column. We want to see only Purchase Order 31, so we'll enter 31 in the field and click Enter. Now, only Purchase Order 31 is displayed on the list page. Click the Remove Filter button to remove the filter. Next, let's look at how to filter by selection. This allows you to display only the records which have the same value in the selected column. Choose the column in the list page that meets the filter conditions. For example, if you want to see all purchase orders for Invoice Account US 104, select a record with Invoice Account US 104 and click within the Invoice Account field. On the All Purchase Orders drop-down list, select Filter and Filter by Selection. Filter by Selection removes any filter that was applied to the list page and finds all records that meet the new filter condition. Now only purchase order records with Invoice Account US 104 are displayed. You can save the filter by going to the All Purchase Orders drop-down list and selecting Save Filter or Save As Filter. Enter a name for the filter and click OK. Now, even if the filter is removed, you can go to the All Purchase Orders drop-down list and the filter is there to be selected anytime you need it. Next, let's check out the Filter by Grid option. Filter by Grid allows you to apply filters to multiple columns in the list page to display a subset of the original records displayed. From the All Purchase Orders drop-down list, select Filter and Filter by Grid. This opens a filter drop-down list for each of the columns in the list page. Say we only want to view purchase orders with vendor account US 103 and approval status of confirmed. Enter US 103 for the vendor account and confirmed for the approval status and press enter. Now only purchase orders for vendor account US 103 with an approval status of confirmed are displayed. Say in addition to that, we only want to see purchase orders greater than 30. Enter 30 for the purchase order and from the drop down list select more than. This inserts a special character which is used to further filter our list page. Now only purchase orders greater than 30 with the other conditions we selected for the filter are shown. Click the Filter by Grid button to remove the filter drop-down lists from the list page. Next, let's look at the advanced filtering functionality, which we can use to further refine our filter by selecting fields and criteria which are not present in the list page. From the All Purchase Orders drop-down list, select Filter and Advanced Filter Sort. Use the inquiry form to create a query and select the fields and criteria to filter on. Please see my video tutorial on how to filter data on a report on the Tridea Partners YouTube channel, which shows how to use the inquiry form. I've already created a query which will filter the purchase orders and only show those purchase orders for Site 1 with delivery date 8-1-2013. 
click OK to save the query and exit the form. Now only purchase orders with Site 1 and delivery date 8-1-2013 are displayed. You can sort the list page in ascending or descending order. Click within a field and then from the All Purchase Orders drop down list, select Sort and select Sort Ascending or Sort Descending. You can also delete a safe filter from the All Purchase Orders drop down list by selecting Delete Filter and then selecting the filter. Click Yes to confirm the deletion. Lastly, you can save a filter as a queue for your roll page, and also you can use the previously used query to select that filter option. I hope that you have enjoyed this video tutorial on how to filter a list page in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and please check out the Tridea Partners website for additional information at trideapartners.com. Thank you.